Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to see the length or shape of the bolt. This is an elongated model. It's about 18 and a half inches from back to front. Other models will be a shorter bolt and a, therefore a whole different toilet seat. Once you have your replacement toilet seat, then you want to remove the old toilet seat. You may want to use a pair of rubber gloves or if you have teenage boys, a hazmat suit. Now you need a pair of pliers and a screwdriver. You'll snap off the covers of the bolts. Then we're going to reach down below and unscrew those bolts. Now these bolts are nylon. For metal bolts, you may need to use a penetrating oil or a spray, or you may need to cut them off with a hacksaw, depending on how corroded they are. Remove the bolt and the toilet seat. Now the new toilet seat came with metal bolts. Personally, I like to avoid the rust and corrosion. I'm going to use the nylon that was on the old toilet seat. I'm going to remove the cap, that up, place that on there, slide down our bolts, and tighten the nuts. These are nylon bolts, so don't tighten them too tight, otherwise they'll crack. Align it and tighten it down. Return the covers. Oh, that's a nice soft close. It's just that easy. And now I won't have to worry about my grandson's fingers being smashed in the old toilet seat. For more tips like this, click the image on your screen now.